And here is our player who I didn't give a proper intro to last time, but he won anyway. FXO Oz. FXO Oz. Oz. He's a wizard, Hoxu. man. It's a wizard versus superstar. When I met him, I actually didn't know his name was Oz for a minute because everyone called him Hoxu. Yeah, that's his real name. Real name. And Hoxu. here's our Zerg player. His opponent used to be Random King, used to be Kumax. Tati Superstar. There he is. I think he was. I think he was actually the captain of Eastro too. Um, I know he did a lot of managing point. of the house. Yeah. Uh, I know he was there when Rhett stayed at the Eastro house as yeah. well. And Pylon on the low ground this time for Oz. Does someone try the same trick? Nope. Does and not. it's. I mean, it's a. It's a two-player map. It's a two-player map, so it's a little bit more risky to go for something that depends on not being scouted. And by the looks of it, we're going to see a gas first. Superstar. Not very common to see a gas first build on this map because the rush distance is so long, it's really easy to hatch first. But he saw the probe come into his base, it was a pylon scout, and he thought, well, I uh, can't really hatch first. He's going to block me, so I'm just going to go. Ooh, he's actually going to get this down. Wow. Doesn't cancel his extractor, of course, when we go ahead and use that spite, getting that early hatchery. But I like that because basically. The extractor here that he made very early is kind of like his way of making the probe think, oh, he's not hatch first thing. And then he, and then the probe stays, and so he <laughs> makes the hatchery. He's only mining with one probe and that gas. That was actually pretty cute. Because he knows he doesn't need to have that 100 gas super fast because his pool hasn't even started yet. Really, really clever moves by Superstar, to be honest. Now the hatchery, or rather spawning pool is going down. I like these little sneaky things that Superstar has done. It's really impressive. Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. I mean, it's it's absolutely intentional what he did with the extractor. Yeah. That's risky probe. Diving through enemy territory. Makes it alive. Probe wants to see how many units are mining gas. He keeps checking that. Yeah, that's very important. Uh, he did get the extractor up earlier, so he's actually only mining with one drone right now, but he's still probably going to have almost enough gas for... Metabolic boost when his pool finishes, uh, just because it, he's been mining for so much longer. And he actually, yeah, is still at one drone. It's going to be a little bit behind that. Actually, he doesn't quite have 100 gas yet, but it's leading me to believe he might actually take a fast third. Now, Oz actually, when he scouted this, he actually made gateway before forge because he knew what was going on. So he's actually going to be able to get a faster core. There it is. There it goes. Yep, and it's a nice, nice crisp, clean wall at this front as well. Going to be able to take that expansion and start utilizing it immediately. And the Zealot actually runs out of the base instead of he's going to try and put a little pressure on. After he sees a couple Zerglings out, he may change his mind. I think he's hoping to catch him droning up and be able to harass a couple drones with, Boys, with the Zealot. That's true, and he's also sending it to the third base location because he knows oh, that true. it's likely that Superstar is going to take a fast third because he kept seeing, okay, only one worker in the gas still. Most likely we're going to see a fast third base. And In fact, he's actually sending his Zealot now up to the natural, but there is a drone going down to take the third. And so he wasn't able to prevent that, fortunately, for Oz. But there is going to be a queen that's exposed here. And another Zealot being sent out. Um, yeah, and he's just actually sitting in the main. main. That's, that Zealot is actually just scouting, basically. Yeah, and he's also going to take out some drones. Oh, nice micro nice by Superstar micro. pulling back Two each drone that's been targeted. It off. The Queens kill the Zealot with no losses. That was actually a really slick micro there. It was really slick, but Oz was able to see that since there's no Roach Warren, no additional structures, actually, he was able to see. Additionally, that there was no drone mining the gas. He knows that third base is going up despite yeah. not actually physically seeing it. Exactly. And back at home, Oz adding two more gates, adding a third one as well, going up to four gates. It's very common after a fast expand, add those gateways to be able to put a little bit of pressure on. But Superstar is going to see this. Overlord sneaking in from behind. Gonna catch sight of that. Both of these guys are actually just playing so well. Yeah, this is a really, this is a really good game. Evolution Chamber going up for Superstar right now. He's put his drones back at his gas. His third just, is finishing. Still just the one gas, though. Yeah, just and one gas. And we're probably going to see a lair in about three seconds. And... Oh, nope. He got 100 gas, but oh, he doesn't have the minerals for a lair, actually. Because he made eight drones and a Roach War. 
drones. Tech drones. Oh wow, right yeah, he's really, really droning up hardcore. He's like, I don't need tech. Screw that. And well, that's partly because he saw the gateways. Yeah, so he he's saw like, the all right, gateways. well, there's probably not a Stargate right now. Exactly. Actually, he actually has Overlord went through the entire base, so he knows there's no Stargate. So he's like, all right, there's no chance that I need tech right now. I'm not going to need Hydralisks for any reason, so I might as well just get a yeah, ton of drones. He's just droning up. He knows that a possible four gate aggression is coming out, and that is what's coming out from Ozzy. He's actually moving out on the map right now. War Gate's done. He's got those gateways finished. He knows he just needs to drone up enough to where he can pump out the roaches he needs to defend his three bases, and then from there, he'll be in a really good spot. Pylon gets taken out as well. It's another win for Superstar. Making 20 Zerglings right now. His Zergling speed, of course, finished. He's getting plus one Carapace. Really likes to get his upgrades very early. And a War and a Prism. A War being Prism. Made. Coming He's going to use that for, to reinforce. For Oz. Remember, these now have 100 shields. Yep, up so they're 40. a little bit less fragile now. It's going to take another several hits from Queens to take out a Warp Prism now. And Robotics Support Bay, or Robotics Bay, going down as well. So he's going to transition into some Colossus. That probe gets trapped, but the Warp Prism coming. Uh-oh, these forces okay. need to be careful. There's he's only actually, a few zealots there. If they get surrounded, he could just lose his sentries. He's going to do a sentry drop. A four sentry drop can be quite effective. You can trap a lot of drones, but it looks like he may actually try to, to do some sort of elevator here. He's actually bringing two sentries in that drop. Only one cannon back at home to defend, but he does wall off. No, he is picking up. He does have four sentries in the drop now instead of two. And Superstar wants to put on a lot of aggression. This is going to be pretty hard for Oz to hold. He doesn't add any more cannons. And here comes that drop in the main. Here Superstar we go. Superstar sees it. He's not reacting yet. Force fields only trap a few drones. But this is, he's going to get them basically for free. And, uh, yeah, it's just going to pick off those drones since he's not targeting the drones with his sentries. He's targeting that extractor, so um, loses a little bit of advantage there, but he's going to lose some sentries out in the open field here against these roaches. Nicely done. The Zerglings targeting down everything, and these roaches can just kite these zealots all the way back. Both players having some trouble dealing with both attacks at once. Yeah, Superstar is struggling a little bit here because Oz has warped in some zealots to reinforce, and the Colossus should be able to help support this attack back at the natural of Supers or, uh, of Oz, of course. And now the sentry's being warped in here, back into the prism. The Zealot's not really able to make anything happen. Turning down the spawning pool. pool. Not gonna work. No. So, both players were playing really, really crisp, but um, when the action heated up, they kind of were having a hard time keeping track of both situations at once. Um, but they were able to do pretty well in both situations. Not not perfect from Blade well, Micro, but... Superstar is really ahead. He dealt with yeah. his situation a lot better. Yeah, exactly. He didn't lose his army, and he lost only a few drones. In fact, in total, he lost about six workers. Yeah, he pulled his drones before the force fields were out. Um, and Oz didn't really even target down the drones that he trapped in those force fields. So he only lost a few. So yeah, and then he actually ended up killing three or four sentries in the open field as well. This is a really good timing for Oz to attack. He's going to try to make use of the fact that he has a really large army. He's going to have to do great force fields, though. This isn't going to be easy. The Spire is on the way. Burrow is almost done, and Roach Speed is actually just not starting, so Roach Speed's not going to be on time, but Burrow should be. He does have an Observer, though. Yeah, Superstar doesn't really have any tech to deal with this right now. All he has is some Roaches and spy crawlers. His Spire's not quite going to be up in time. Ah, canceled his units by mistake. Oh, Put no. it back into uh, transport mode. A little bit too soon, so he actually needs to, to warp on those units again if he wants to uh, engage us again. And he's going to try and go down and take out the new budding fourth, I think. Wait, no. Is he going to turn and attack the third? Here yes, we go. He Warping in more Stalkers. Five, in fact, as well as a Zealot. His third Colossus is here. A huge speedling counterattack is going to go on, but there's enough defense back at home for us. This base is actually just going to be taken out with no answer from Superstar. Wow, yeah, Superstar is just going to let it go. He's going to do a massive Roach counterattack, though. he's just going to try and trade. Yeah, a ton of Roaches heading towards Oz's front. He's got one Zealot there to defend. It's going to get taken out, but he does have a Colossus standing behind it. That is a lot of Roaches, though. Here we go. Force Field's going up. These Roaches can't escape, and these Crawlers aren't going to finish. But here comes the huge Roach counterattack, and he's broken through. The Colossus isn't going to be able to micro back in the main for much longer. It's not looking good for Oz because even though he has a larger army, 
his opponents can be able to tear through this base so quickly. If this becomes a base race, I think Oz may lose. He may want to go home after killing the natural. Yeah, this is a scary situation for Oz. Um, the Zerk can just put stuff all over the map very easily if it does turn into a trade. And Oz actually and does get his probes out, so that's one pretty big advantage he's going to have with having those probes out. There's a hatchery at the bottom yeah. right as well, so he's not going to be revealed when this main hatchery goes down. Yeah, Oz has a lot of money as well, so um, he can rebuild if necessary. Now, he had a Spire up for a minute. Did he produce any air units at all? He made a bunch of Corruptors, six Corruptors, and that's it. So those Corruptors, of course, not going to be able to kill Protoss buildings. Uh, will be able to kill the War Prism, though, if he finds it. Yeah. Now, actually, this is starting to look really good for Oz because Superstar... I mean, you know, Oz just has more money. He just has more money, man. Yeah, Oz just... Uh, Superstar has just spent all of his money on... I'm not exactly sure what. I, oh, you know what he did? He spent it to try and defend his main. And it didn't work. And, he, and spent some spine crawlers at the south. The War Prism, by the way, gets taken out. Stalker yeah, going to work on those last few drones. And the roaches are actually going to target down the last Nexus of Oz, or so he thinks. There's actually another Nexus being made. Two more Nexus being made, in fact, in the map. And it looks like Oz is actually just going to take this game. Spines are canceled here, and Superstar wow. has nothing left. He's got another Extractor that's actually dying slowly on the other side of the map. So uh, Superstar opting to trade instead of defend, and... It's just not going to work out for me. It came pretty close, though. They both killed each other's bases about the same time. But Oz, just with so much money in the bank, uh, didn't you know spend all of his money desperately trying to defend. He just like said, all right, well, I'm just going to run all my probes out and build somewhere else. Yeah, and Superstar is now being revealed. Oz actually can just go and target down his last buildings, which are three spine crawlers, an extractor, and a spawning pool. The spawning pool actually will die on its own, so will the crawlers. All he really needs to do is kill the extractor. Here and Garden Shield goes up. Defense. And actually, Superstar could win this fight, but it's not going to be easy. He's actually targeting down the, the Colossi very quickly. The Stalker's stalled out for a second. If he kills that Colossus with those Corruptors, it could be huge. And he gets it. Does get it. Does he have enough to deal with the rest of the army, though? The Roaches are a little bit faster. They can kite. Yeah, this is actually well, the closest chance Superstar would have had. Oh. He burrows, but oh, there is an observer, observer, and the roaches are going down so quickly. Meanwhile, Azeli goes to work on the spawning pool. The spine crawlers are moving. They're actually hiding under overlords that are spreading creep to keep them alive because, of course, they do die without creep. Now Oz is mining, though, and he actually could repower some gateways in his main and start making more units, whereas that option is not available for Superstar. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is not looking good at all for Superstar, and he is one loss away from getting eliminated from Code A. He will, of course, be around next season, but yeah. I think he's going to lose these roaches yeah, he's right now. Lose these roaches and then he's going to GG. Yeah, he actually, nope. Oz could actually just go target down the spines right now. They're not even burrowed, they're standing up under Overlords. <laughs> and that's all he needs to do. It's almost like Oz just wants to to play like, more safe than is necessary. These overlords are actually going to move, and so the spine crawlers are going to start dying again. That's strange. Oh, there that's, is one that's spine. so funny. He's revealed, and they're actually showing him Yeah, there is one spine trying around. to hide, but... <laughs> I don't know why he moved all of his overlords instead of just a couple. I guess he's trying to move all of his spine crawlers. Oh, he's going to try and move his spine crawlers into a position where they can help in the fight against the Protoss. That is actually kind of clever. It's kind of clever, but will it matter here? The gateways in the main are repowered. He's actually able to warp in more units. And there he goes, trying to repro in, in range of the buildings, but they're going to go down before they can even get into the ground. GG. Superstar was Superstar defeated. Superstar was defeated. And, uh... Wow, so uh, impressive game there by Oz. Yeah, Oz just played things out very well. Even though he lost a little bit more than he needed to in some of those attacks in the mid game, just played that trade very well. Played the base trade a lot yeah, better Superstar than Superstar did. knew the attack was coming and yet still decided to go for the trade. And when you have air units like Mutalis out, that's a better option. But when you have only Roaches, yeah. you know, if, Oz didn't ha if Oz's probes didn't get out, Superstar might have won that game just by a faster trade, but Superstar threw away all his money making Corruptors he wasn't really able to use.
Yeah, no, I think I think you're right. If if he'd gotten the probes, I think Superstar could have won that game because that's the only reason Oz won is because he survived longer. But his buildings, he had less buildings left at the end. Um, could have been able to do a lot better in the trade if that was the situation, I guess. But I mean, he was targeting down the robotics facility to make sure another Colossus didn't get out. So that's why he didn't go over there to catch all the probes. It's a tough choice. But uh, so Superstar is going to be. In Code next season, but yeah. he's eliminated for this time, and that means we've got two for two with the Protosses today. Yeah, man, these Protosses, they're going to the up and downs. They have a chance at Code S. Yes, they do, and we're going to have yet another Protoss player coming up next, I believe. Or is it actually... Actually, next we've nope. got Dream vs. Lucky. Actually, Dream vs. Lucky. Another Zerg player up next. Uh, we're going to have MVP Dream, up-and-coming Terran player versus FXO Lucky, and up-and-coming Zerg. Yeah, Lucky's ZVT is actually really good. Um, I think he's definitely going to be the favorite in this fight. Yeah, I don't, I don't know much about Dream. Have you seen, have you seen him play? Actually, yeah, I've um, seen him play not very well against some Zergs and all in with SCVs oh, okay. and Hellions against Zergs and barely win sometimes. Um, you know, he's not a bad player, hmm. but his TVZ is not impressive. Whereas Lucky's TV ZVT is uh, pretty impressive from what I've seen. I've watched a lot of his games. Obviously, he's my my teammate. <laughs> I'm not just saying that because he's my teammate. I've actually watched a lot of his games, and it was pretty impressive. I I can't remember a specific game, but for some reason I have it in my head that Lucky is pretty good. Like I remember like seeing him and going like, "Hmm, he's pretty good." And then like that's all I remembered from the game, though. You probably saw some replays. It's pretty sick. I don't know. But you know, Dream has improved a lot since the last time I saw him do an SCV Hellion all in. Um, and it like barely worked. It was a like, cross position. It was a horrible timing, and he like just barely pulled it did off. He, did he just barely make it work bit he actually, by bit? Yeah, bit by bit, man. He actually sent all of his SCVs, and they blew up on Bane Links and that all in. It was. You guys look up that vod. Oh, Anyways. I think I remember that now. Yeah. Actually, I remember watching that and going, "Ugh." Anyway, we're gonna take a quick break. We'll come back with some ZVT action in just a few minutes. <laughs> 